This will be part seven to the Illuminati card game series, and I'm not going to go in any particular order because I'm kind of running out of cards to find, but I'm doing my best to continue to find you all some really good cards. And this one says the American Civil Liberties Union, or the ACLU, and it says because liberty can't defend itself, or can it? And it says the ACLU gives plus 10 to any attempt to destroy any government group, liberal fanatic. And of course it shows us this right here, the Statue of Liberty, aka Isis Ishtar Easter, and that is the what it's alluding to. But I don't know if you all know, but what this is really representing, controlled opposition because they do give you some truth and this organization does tell you some truth but how much truth are they telling you remember some truth and many lies that is the game of the illuminati oh but they're telling you all their truth in these illuminati card games but see they just want you to think that it's a game now this card says AMA and it says the AMA has plus five for a direct attack on any science group or gives a plus five bonus when it uses its power to aid any science group against an attempt to control or destroy. Now it's interesting what they're showing you because it looks to be like a nurse standing or a doctor or surgeon standing next to a skeleton what does that represent the corruption of the medical system i haven't done a ton of videos covering this subject but yahoo willing i want to talk more about this because it's so important and it's so saddening and disheartening and upsetting when you hear about different people especially those who are disabled especially those who are in the hospital or in hospice how badly they get treated especially people in nursing homes too and how the doctors and everyone there literally get paid, at least the ones on the top, they get paid to try to kill you there. And not only that, but our government, the lovely government, the CIA and the FBI and the other alphabet soups, they get paid to do what? Conduct medical experimentations on people in order, and then what? They hide the evidence. This has been going on for a long time to try to make something legal when it's not for experimentation, courtesy the fallen angels. And they do it through the medical facilities i know that's hard to believe but trust me it goes on and you can even look at hospitals and the different symbolism in hospitals but a lot of them are what they're related and funded by the freemasons and the zionists and the shriners and the list goes on not to mention what that pharmacies don't make you get better they only make you worse because in the greek that's what that's what pharmacy sorcery medicines don't help you it's it's the herbs and the natural herbs and the turmeric and the ginger and the coconut oil that stuff is what helps heal you because those that is what yahuwah has given us to heal us the earth is what can heal us but they don't want you to know that big pharma doesn't want you to know keep the secrets not anymore now, I thought this card was interesting because it says, an offer you can't refuse, because this could be alluding to many, many, many things, but a lot of it has to do with what? Bribery under the table actions, especially when it comes to, you know, becoming a celebrity and wanting to become a celebrity. Be careful what you ask for, because if you're still wanting and looking to become a celebrity, you're going to do a whole lot of things in order to do it, and not to mention go through these guys, who the Zionists. Be be very careful. Do not be fooled. Do not be duped. Do not buy into the hoaxes and what they're trying to sell you. Because remember, there's an agenda behind everything. Because NASA's still trying to sell you that planets really exist and that there's gravity and that all these other stage lies and hoaxes. Just like everything else. Just like they're trying to sell to you that, oh, ISIS is attacking everyone worldwide. Oh, but we know better than that stuff on sale today only i'm telling you it's all a big scam and they want you to keep buying 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 because what they don't want you to see what's really going on for those of us who are woke we should want nothing to do and no part in the world and what the world's offering because we know there's bigger things and a bigger agenda being fulfilled and more bigger things that are even ahead and at the door. Now, this card was interesting because it says Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, which is an actual organization. As you can see, what do they cause? Chaos and terror. Very interesting and suspicious indeed. And it says, has plus eight on any direct attack to destroy any fanatic group. Gives plus six for any attempt to control or destroy the gun lobby, the tobacco companies, or the liquor companies. What is that talking about? How the 
Zionists control everything and how they control both the tobacco and the liquor companies and how they strategically place them in urbanized areas and communities in order for what? Divide and conquer and control. And also with the help of the government, CIA and the FBI going in and disguising themselves as a regular people going into drug traffic in these areas in order to incarcerate and keep the incarceration levels rate on so-called black people who are the real Hebrew Israelites. I'm telling you this goes much deeper than you think, but also to do what? Cause chaos and destructions with gun lobbying and gun control. Gotta take those guns, gotta get your weapons because of so-called school shootings that didn't actually happen. And because of so-called ISIS that's really funded by the by your government. Oh my goodness, the irony is real, isn't it? It's time to really wake up and see the bigger agenda for what it really is. Now, I thought this card was interesting because it shows Bigfoot, and actually you've been hearing a lot of so-called reports on Bigfoot recently, but it says, Bigfoot has the power to distract any media group by showing himself in public. By using his action, Bigfoot could cancel any action taken by any media group. He also gives you a plus three on any attempt to control a green group. Very interesting and suspicious indeed, especially when you've been hearing reports on Bigfoot. And what is this really alluding to? There's, it's all a big distraction and a big mental psyop. Everything you see on TV, everything you see on the movies, it's all a big distraction. However, certain movies and certain TV shows, they're actually telling you truth. But for the some of the other ones, like even these reality shows and blah, 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 don't be fooled. It's a bigger agenda because when you watch that stuff, whether you want to believe it or not, subliminally, you allow demons in if you're watching things that have to do with arguing and the dissolution of family. Why do you think certain television shows feature families that are constantly arguing and fighting when this was not the case in the, in the 1950s or even the 1980s? Why do you think that is? There's a bigger agenda behind all this, and I hope you're seeing it for what it really is. Now, I thought this card was interesting, and it says, Bjorn, I love you all, ho ho. Beloved by children, detested by adults, the Viking dinosaur has a plus four for direct control of any media group. Bjorn gets one extra action token for every media group he controls directly. However, anyone who destroys or kills Bjorn can immediately draw a plot card as a thanks of a grateful world, plus one extra plot card for every point of Bjorn's power at the time. Now, this card has to do with what? Children. Almost reminds me of Barney, but well, I'm telling you all better be very careful and very alert because I'm telling you the demons and Satan they are going after children and you're starting to see a bunch of laws and a bunch of things where they're, they're literally shooting kids on the street literally they is in the police they're trying to do anything to push your buttons any way they can and, and now they're going after children it's without a doubt because they already you know you've been hearing about missing children around the Vatican and in England haven't you I wonder why that is is it because they take them and sacrifice them and then they and then they do what then they use aborted children to place into your meat into your food of course they do they need children for sacrifices and blood sacrifices and demonic rituals i'm telling you this stuff goes on and they use cartoons and other things like this as big distractions because they know if they can mentally reprogram and mentally control your children as children, then they know they have them. Because I'm telling you, it's easier to explain certain things to children than it is to adults. And I know that sounds crazy, but I can explain the flat earth much easier to a child than I can an adult because the, because the child has not been brainwashed by NASA for over 50 years into lies. But see, with the child, they'll get it and grab it like that like we're in a snap and the, and Satan does not want that so I hope you're seeing that and why children are so important in, in this big equation because it's all subliminal it's all about mind control and if and if they can control your mind if they is in the government the satanic government I should say if they can control your mind any way they can trust me they will now, I know I've talked about this with other cards, but this card says, what air magic? Play this card to help protect the place against any disaster except earthquake or volcano. Very interesting and suspicious indeed. Not only that, but I've talked about in many of my videos and done many reports on HARP and CERN and weather control and modification, how your government can control all the weather and everything and stage droughts, stage earthquakes, and stage hurricanes. You may not want to believe that, 
that, but that is what they can do. Why? Because they have this agenda with climate change. And honestly, folks, I would not be surprised if you start seeing, you know, winter storms in the summer. Maybe not this summer, but I'm telling you, they're getting ready for these things and they're they're practicing and amping it up with harp and CERN with earthquakes strategically in strategic lo places and locations to not only get ready for the big meteor asteroid deception, but also to make you think that, oh, well, because of climate change, you're the problem and we need to tax you with carbon taxes, hoaxes, and other hoaxes and taxes that don't matter. Oh, because you're insignificant and we need to kill you off and, and for the sake of Mother Earth, because that's what they're trying and to do. And I hope you're seeing that because this agenda goes much deeper than you think. Why do all these world global lead globalists leaders all come together to discuss this stuff, stuff under the guise of the Zionists? There's a real bigger agenda behind this, and I hope you're seeing exactly what it is. This card was interesting because it says L4 Society, and it says gives plus four to any attempt to control or destroy any science or space group, or plus eight to give to direct control of any space group. Now, what is this relating to? The space groups are controlled, and they're all frauds, all hoaxes. Please do your research on this stuff. And there are some great channels out there that really do expose more of the NASA lies. It's all all lies. They are paid criminals to steal your money and lie to your face, and they're all Freemasons. There is no space. There is no outer space. There are no other planets. They never went to the moon. There are no satellites in space. None of that is true. They are lying to you and getting paid to lie to you, just like there are no missions. I'm telling you. And even astronauts expose themselves for who they really are because they're good at lying. But I want you to see this because they're getting you ready and mentally conditioned for the big alien deception that is even at the door because they're not aliens they're fallen angels they're the demons and i hope you're seeing that because we are do wrestle not against flesh and blood i am a witness to that believe me when i tell you that because i'm telling you this goes much deeper than you think it may seem like, like a little white lie on the surface but really it's much deeper than that now this card is very uh, interesting and it's very, very suspicious and concerning actually. It says, New World Order, a thousand points of light. And the Freemasons talk about that a lot. But it says, we'll have to put something in the water. You mean like fluoride to dumb us down? Interesting. But it goes on to say, paranoid is reduced and good feelings increase to a thoroughly unnatural extent. What? Paranoia reduced? Yeah, right. Because they're trying to invoke fear any way they can. They need you to be fearful in order for what? Mind control. That is why they're staging all these sandy hoaxes and everything else to make you fear where you're going. And Islamophobia, watch out. Islam people, Muslims over there, watch out. They could have bombs come on give me a break they just want you scared out of your mind or oh look north korea has a bomb watch out they want you to fear for your life for nothing or two planets are about to collide watch out earth's about to collide with the planet Please, people, wake up because I'm telling you, it's all a big mental psyop. They want you scared for as much as possible. But see, when you have Yahuwah and you're in a thinking in a spiritual mindset, you do not have to fear. And I hope you're getting this because it's real, real important. Can't have a new world order without cattle mutilators because we need that. And it says their weird rituals foretell the future and more because that's exactly what they want us to believe. What is this card really alluding to? how they manipulate with other animals and place GMOs and other disgusting things in order to make you think that it's food when it's really not. And I don't know if anybody else is disturbed by this, but but most fruits and vegetables, they should contain seeds in them. So when you go to the store and you see seedless fruits and seedless vegetables, that should be raising some red flags. Not only that, but see, I don't believe a word they tell me. You know, they like to give us this or this organic propaganda to make us think it's organic, but is it really? How do we really know? Or are we really slaving the system even more and being enslaved to the system even more? We will never know. And this card says, Center for Weird Studies. And it says, Home with a High Energy Cheese Lab, the Boson Control Project, and other things they don't teach in physics class, <laughs> like the Flat Earth. But anyway, once per turn, on your turn, you may discard any plot card from your hand and add an extra action token to any one of your groups or resources which has already used its action. This does not let a group use its power twice in the same attack. Now, when I first looked at this card, it also reminded me 
of what goes on underground and the underground facilities and the cloning centers that are underground, whether you want to believe that or not, as well as the deep underground military bases and the disgusting things that they do under there. They as in your elite, your lovely government. I'm telling you, it's no conspiracy. You better wake up now and see the bigger agenda because there is an agenda, all right. And what's the bigger agenda? Deception, deception, and more deception. Because it says it's that flaming yield sign from the heavens telling you the last days are near. Now, when I saw this card, it immediately reminded me of Project Blue Beam and how they're getting ready to unveil the false messiah via Project Blue Beam that way or another way through holographic technology and other different things to make you think that, oh, Jesus is returning, Buddha is returning, oh, there's Krishna in the sky i'm telling you it's all a big mental psyop get ready for it and do not be fooled because so many people are about to bow down to holographic images and mind control and it's not going to be good now, I thought this card was interesting because this card even proves to you that, yes, cloning is real. Because it even says this card permits you to play from your hand a personality which duplicates one who has been assassinated. Oh, so you mean to tell me that this card even admits this once certain celebrities become a certain status that their original celebrity or the original person is in fact assassinated and then a clone is made out of them? Or even worse, they preserve DNA from people back in the 1900s and even 1800s and then they are cloned and taken to be cloned into people it's even been shown and i tend to believe it that obama is a cloned pharaoh from egypt very interesting and suspicious indeed they even show you some of the cloning process and a clone coming out of the cloning lab very interesting and suspicious indeed if you would like to learn more please watch my cloning videos i've done two so far and yahoo willing i want to do more on this topic because there's a real nefarious uh, agenda with this and it has to do not only with martial law and how they're probably going to clone the uh, so-called uh, troops and so-called uh, foreign troops, but they're also going to do what? They're going to use the clones and cy for cyborgs, robots, and other means for evil and not good. <laughs> Ready for the revolution? I hope so, because it says, use this card when you play from your hand, a nation which duplicates a group that has already been destroyed. What does that nation sound like to me? America. Because that's ex this is exactly what they are getting ready for. Counter-revolution. Protest. They're trying to turn the public against law enforcement, law enforcement against the public to bring in the military and troops, half of which are going to be clones. I'm telling you, this goes much deeper than you think. This is what they want this is what they're getting ready for a new world order fascist police state it's all ready to go i covered this card but it says democrats for every reaction there is an equal and opposite government program and it shows two people praying to what a goat the bafa met now i don't know for those of you who are, are not awoke that yes the democrats and the republicans they're owned and controlled by the same people the zionists as well as the liberals and progressive they give you the the illusion that they're two different things and that they mean two different things but really they are the same thing controlled by the same people who are trying to fulfill the plans of the new world order courtesy the UN and your lovely government and other alphabet soups under the guise of the Zionists who are under the fallen angels that is just how the hierarchy goes but I hope you see it because Remember, false freedom, false peace, false hope, that is exactly what they're trying to give you to condition your mind into thinking that, oh, everything's okay. Yeah, there's real change coming to America. Oh, I suggest you think again. I'm telling you, it's time to wake up now and get out of that sleep if you're not already out of it. Because what does this card say? Ditto heads. And it looks like, based on the picture, showing people what who are mentally controlled and programmed by everything their government says and does. And for people who believe everything their government tells them to do and not to do. Because I'm telling you, they are good at lying. And I'm telling you, that idiot box known as the television, known as cable, this is exactly what you become. 
as well as the public school system. Now, like I said, if you have no other choice, then of course you have to leave your children in school, but I really recommend homeschooling your children when you find out the truth and know the truth for your own self and your own sake, because schools are also controlled and managed and run by the government. And just like I said earlier, they are coming after your children, whether you want to believe that or not. I know that sounds sad to say and sorry to say, but it's just the darn truth. And I hope you're seeing it for what it really is. No sugar coating required. Don't forget to smash the state because they're even telling you their plans in this card. Distrust of government is at an all-time high and society is crumbling. It sure is, isn't it? Because we don't trust our government at all. But how did they even know all of this? And what does this remind me of? Well, for me, it reminds me of New York. But what distrusting and dismantling the system? What? Phoenix rising out of the ashes. New world order. You can look at your dollar bill and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I hope you're seeing this stuff because this is exactly what they're getting ready for. Get rid of America and replace it with this. Oh, but you also need drug companies because it says we'll have to put something in the water to make them forget this. Oh, like what? Fluoride? This is the second time that they've mentioned that in, in today's segment. Oh, but what else is this really, really showing you? The cigarettes, it's been proven that cigarettes has not only over 7,000 chemicals, but close to 600 additives and ingredients that they put in a little thing of cigarettes. Oh my goodness, what mind control? That's all it's about. That's what this agenda is about. And I hope you're seeing it for what it really is and getting away from this stuff because it's all about mentally enslaving you. Now, it's interesting that this card would say goal earth first and it would say think globally, blow things up locally. It's very interesting it would say that because what it shows the hypocrisy of the government, how they try to make people think, yeah, merge together, globalism, yeah, merge is a new world order. That's what we need to do in order to fight off these threats, in order to come together and make peace, problem, reaction, solution. That's the solution. But meanwhile, they're blowing up things literally. Meanwhile, they're not reporting things that they're doing. Meanwhile, they're causing droughts and other different things and causing war in different places that they're not even telling you about. For example, in Kashmir, India, they've still yet to report that to the Western world. Oh, but we know exactly what's going on. And it's not just India. It's other places too. Why? For the new world order. That's the goal. I hope you're seeing it. But don't be embezzled because there's always an agenda behind everything. And why do you think it's so difficult to get a business today? Why do you think it's so difficult to start up your own business and get the funding and capital? Because it's all about embezzlement. And we know money is fake and we know it's funded and printed, fake money printed by the Jewish Zionists, the Federal Reserve. It's only a matter of time until both the fake Jews and that Federal Reserve are going to be, are going to just go away and be obliterated. But until that happens, do not be fooled and do and remember not everything is what it seems but what is the real goal of the new world order fear and loathing and we see that going on every single day today with the new world order we saw that with the 923 propaganda and we're going to keep seeing it even more because they know you're waking up and they know you're starting to find truth but they have to keep blending it with lies keep spreading fear oh my gosh worry about this oh my gosh worry about that oh my goodness there's a nuclear bomb oh my goodness isis oh my goodness this oh my goodness that because they want you to keep worrying and fearing even though scripture tells us not to fear. Now, I thought this card was very interesting because it says Finland. Finland has a plus six for direct control of any computer group and gives a plus two to attempt to control a computer group. And mind you, it's not just Finland either, but what is it really showing you? What goes on behind closed doors and what they don't want you to know. Remember, not everything is what it seems. And notice how it says coastal. I'm telling you, this agenda goes bigger. They know exactly what they're doing and they're located in strategic places that you would never even think about. They as in the new world order, they as in the elite, they as in your lovely government. This card was very interesting because it says go lemmings go, but what it can really also be alluding to is the disgusting creatures that you're going to start seeing come the new world order. I'm telling you folks, this goes much deeper than any of us could ever imagine. And if you're not ready for this or thinking about this from a spiritual mindset and seeking Yahuwah daily, then I'm telling you, you're going to be taken for a loop and you don't want that to happen and I'm trying to be a vessel 
for you so that you will be ready for this stuff so that you will not be freaking out when this stuff happens because they're trying to you know spread fear any way they can right now before the real stuff starts happening they're trying to you know they're purporting these hoaxes but for a long time it will no longer be a hoax telling you they're lying about everything and this card says according to Adlai Stevenson a lie is an abomination unto what they call the Lord and a very present help in time of trouble very interesting that it would they would say time of trouble because that's where we're reaching and oh won't won't, won't people be upset when once that once nasa finally tells them that they lied about everything and stole all their money oh wait until people really find out about the federal reserve and how they it was a big lie to begin with and have been and they've been stealing and slaving you for over a hundred years oh well, you'll be real angry then unless you wake up now and see the lies for what they really are and see just where the lies are coming from and who is doing the lying but you better be careful because they're trying to control everything and it says international cocaine smugglers gives plus four in any attempt to control the following groups or any of their puppets punk rockers cycle gangs urban gangs hollywood emmanuel norega feel free to extend this bonus to any personality that all players can agree on and like i just talked about earlier that what that your government and the fbi cia and the other alphabet soups they get paid to smuggle drugs everywhere that is that is why there is even a black market to be begin with through Mexico and other places that's why they're not even building a border in the American Mexican border because they know they make fake money and keep the system going but oh keep that a secret that's classified information they don't want you to know that now I thought this card was interesting especially when it says international communist when it says conspiracy and it says plus three on any attempt to control any communist group or any puppet of a communist group like who led by the Jewish Zionist Marxism Leninism Stalinism and the list goes on and on the international communist conspiracy also has a plus four rather than a minus four for direct control of any fanatic communist group and yes Judaism is behind all this yes rabbis will tell you that rabbis will tell you that these ideologies for communism and bolshevism and all that stuff comes from judaism they will tell you that because they're the ones who are conspiring to take over the entire world you can read about it in the protocols of the elders of zion but are you still under mind control and think it's a fake what's the agenda divide and conquer and that's exactly what they do through liberalism to turn people to say oh yeah we, we really love everyone we agree with everyone and what everyone says we agree with certain opinions but not all of them divide and conquer that is exactly what they're doing please see this stuff and see the agenda ahead of time and rather than getting upset with people get upset with your government for for trying to pass these ideologies and get upset with the jewish zionists who continue to cause trouble and chaos every single place they go because they are the synagogues of Satan. Now it's interesting that this card would say martyrs and would look to be what looks to be like a war zone because what war is just what it's a, all a sham and facade there's no real reason to go to war we don't need to be going to war except to protect the pockets of the 3% Jewish Illuminati bankers because they're the ones who purport both sides and fund both sides of the war and get their technology from the demons and fallen angels whether you want to believe that or not but the people who go to war and think they're or join the military and think oh we're doing a good deed oh we're, we're, we're protecting america what are you protecting america from because america doesn't need protection if anything other nations need protection from america and that's just the darn truth now what's interesting about this card is here we see that number 23 again very interesting and it says world illuminator tweet tweezer slangs rise to 23 and it shows the woman who is who also shows up in the nobel peace prize could they be alluding to something around that time because it's giving out in october november december very interesting and suspicious indeed and it says a shocking news story distracts all media and by the time it runs its course the public has forgotten all about what was that issue anyway 
anyway, because that's exactly what goes on. Distractions. They want to keep you mentally distracted and occupied any single way they can. Not anymore. The final card I would like to show you today is called the Never Surrender. And as you can see, what does it show? P plotting and putting people against law enforcement, law enforcement against people. It's a big plot and scam for what Rome divide and conquer. All roads lead back to Rome. And I know the Jesuits have a lot to do with this as well, as well as the lovely Pope that you see. And no, he's not lovely at all. Because what the one world religion, because what they purposely try to divide and conquer everything everybody and then on to their solution to that they say oh let's merge everybody together let's merge as a new world order through hoaxes and other delusions and distractions to keep you distracted by the way george soros and all those other elite guys they fund black lives matter and all those other silly protests well not so much silly but they fund everything i hope you're seeing the bigger agenda and know where it's coming from seek yahoo and his true son yahusha that all may be well with you Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and share it on your favorite social media sites. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned, and we'll see you back next time.